Hello and welcome back to episode 8 of Claude's Arsenal FIFA Rebuild. And our next fixture, it's round 3 of the League Cup and we're at home to Southampton. And in our last game, who did we have in our last game? Aston Villa, that was it, 2-0. And it was a Pepe penalty and a late goal right at the death to, to, to seal it. I think it was a Bamiyang. So I figure for this one, I'm going to have to rotate the squad. And I'm going to have to put Balogun up there with Enketia. Because if you remember, Lacazette is injured. And we're using Martinelli a lot, so I've got him on the bench. And you know what? Because of the stats, I was toying with putting Mkhitaryan in instead of Foden. But I want to build up these young players. Might be a gamble. But I mean, we want to sell Mkhitaryan at the end of the day. And I want to build Foden up. Maybe give Willock some minutes as well. So, in the real world of Arsenal, there's been a lot happening, isn't there? Finally, we got the unveiling of Gabriel Magalish. That's right, I learned how to say his surname. Magalish. He's now an Arsenal player on a five-year contract. And he's got the number five jersey. No, the number six jersey. The number six jersey. And um, I think it's fair to say that there's a lot of weight that comes with wearing the number six jersey at Arsenal. Do you know what I mean? There's been a, we've had quite a few players to wear that. Kishelny quite recently. Tony Adams is one that I, obviously that comes to mind. And I also think there was a period of time where David Raycastle had the number six very early on in his career in the first team. Might be wrong. And there's also news, and this was a bit surprising to me, that uh, Paris Saint-Germain have come in with a bid for Hector Bellerin, and that is everywhere today. So what do you think the thinking is there then? Has there been a, has there been a switch around on the thoughts on Ainsley Maitland-Niles? Has the, club's, has the club now thought to themselves, well, hold on a minute. If we sell Hector, we keep hold of Ainsley Maitland-Niles and we've got Cedric there as the backup. Maybe that's what the thinking is. If the 30, was it 35 million euros I heard for Hector, 30, 35 million euros, I can't remember. But if we get that in, then we put that towards the Thomas Party Fund, right? Because it, we're going to get, I was reading that we're going to get 4.5 million for Socrates, for, for Napoli. So we're, we're, we're chipping away to the Thomas Party Fund. And also the talks of Hossam Awa are not dying down. I mean, that would be a hell of a window, right? If a uh, party was to also come in and Awa. Awa! <laughs> Says like a pirate. But that would be a hell of a window. But the, <laughs> the thing that guided me over since we've last spoken... It looks like Donny van der Beek is now going to Man United. Our Donny is... I said it always looked good in red. But I didn't think it would be Manchester Red, right? What was it? 40.3 million euros? Dennis Bergkamp apparently played a big part in, um, you know, advising him of the teams that were looking at him that Man United would be, the, would be his best pick. <sighs> I can't believe that there was no way we could have not scraped together 40.3 million and obviously, having Dennis work, Bergkamp putting a word in, do you know what I mean? Maybe Dennis might have even be able to get us one of them, them HB deals that we like, where we just put down a fiver and then we pay it off each week. Gutted, man. I'm looking forward to seeing him in the Premier League, though, Donny, to, uh, to see how he copes. But, um, yeah, that's one that I would have liked to have seen come in. Right then, Southampton. Had to rotate the squad though.
Now, a couple of you were saying to me, can you do the videos longer? But when I've done them longer, and I've done two matches, it's usually about half an hour with one match, but when I've done it with um, two matches at an hour, people were saying that it was too long. The thing is, though, season's finished, right? This game's going to be obsolete soon. FIFA 21's going to be out in October, and I don't think we're going to have the season finished by then. So we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. I don't even know if I'm going to buy FIFA 21 because I'm actually... The last few FIFAs for me, I mean, I like career mode. And there seems to be less now in career mode than there was maybe five years ago. Do you remember five years ago? Like, you could, um, you could, have, uh, you, you could select sponsors each, each season. And depending on, uh, they had certain goals. And like, you know, the, the, the more riskier the goal, the higher you got to add to your transfer key. Things like that, gone. Right. Oh, Martinez, yeah, it looks like Martinez is going to be staying as well, an extension on his contract. Should be interesting. We've got two very good Thank goalkeepers now in the squad. The right. See, working it up the flank. Oh! Slides into nothing. It'd be embarrassing if you do that, isn't it? Ooh, cheeky back here. That was kind of a tad lucky there. In our own penalty box. Nelson. work in our favour. Yes! Yes! Was that Eddie? I don't have the names on the back. I'm sure that's Eddie number 12. Eddie and Ketia. Who, for me, I'm not really convinced yet that he is... Let's say, for example, we sold Lacazette. I think that we would need to bring in another striker. I'm not sure. Just having a Bamiyang, who's basically playing as a winger, and just having Eddie is going to be enough. You know, I, I'm not 100% convinced with Eddie. Put it nice. Put it not. Put it nicely away here, though. Not a bad start. They're spreading the ball down the flanks. Nips in. That's it. Nice touch. Nope. Let's go back this way. Ooh, careful, he's marking tight. Pings it. Dangerous area now. Base for the shot. Oh, blocks. The kids ain't doing too badly against Southampton. That's it. Oh, loses the ball there. That's it. Oh, Eddie just loses the ball there on the uh, old one, two. Soaking up the pressure. That's it. Oh, couldn't keep it in. Couldn't keep it in. Martinez. Ooh, Tonali picks the ball up in the middle. Oh, look at that. Skips past one and another. Oh. It's 
spreading the ball. Yes, it might come in now. yes, that was a nice pattern of play. Very nice pattern of play to work the ball up there like that. I think that's their first goal now for Phil Foden. His debut goal for the club. Look at that. Moves it once and then have that. Nicely taken. Nicely taken. Okay. What's happening in the world of football? Messi? What's happening there then? I mean, who's going to be able to afford that transfer other than City? Oof, couldn't hold on to it. Couldn't hold on to it though. It's a corner. Oh, hold, he held on to that though, Martinez. Oh, I just the breakaway move. Full danger. Oof. Wide. Wide. Yeah, he screwed that, didn't he? So, yeah, who's going to pay the transfer fee for Messi? Sounds like he's definitely wanting out. It would be good to see Messi, though, in the, uh, in the, in the Premier League. I mean... It's not like a couple of more years. It wasn't a couple of more years ago. Do you know what I mean? But you know, he's he's he's, he's still he's still you know what I mean the best in the world, isn't he? Arguably alongside uh, Ronaldo, whoever you want to go for. Oh no, no! As soon as that happened, right, I thought that the winger was going to run on. That's why I pressed the first time pass. Control it. It's all us putting on the pressure, though. Is that offside? That's two for Eddie. OK, well, I'm glad now that I went with my decision to keep to put on Foden ahead of Mkhitaryan. Eddie's on a hat trick. Yeah, it'd be devastating if Messi goes to City, though, isn't it? Oh, he steals the ball. Look at that, through the middle. Is that into it or not? Yes, here we go. You know it's coming up now, didn't you? The old short corner. We, all, we love a short corner. Here. Dangerous area. Oh, not enough power. Looks like we're going in at half time. Three up. Comfortable. Some of these uh, second stringers in the B team are having a good day out. Yeah, he 
he was lucky that he just managed to keep the ball past that defender. A better defender might attack, but got it, got it away from him there. But Southampton, they're not at it, are they? Oh, the space, look. Great, great play that was to find the space there for Foden to be up there. This is the other Eddie goal. Right, um, 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 do I want to change anything around? Be gone. You know what? Not just yet. Oh. Oh. Away, away. That's it. Dangerous, that was. Tonali up the middle. He's open on the right. Look, he's open on the right. Oh. Is that a pen? No? Sound of the crowd there, I thought that was like, you know. Look at that. Oh, why did he miss that? Okay. Getting into the right areas though. Just hoofed it too much. Just hoofed it. Oh, fractions. Fractions. That's it. Keep playing like that. Keep it going, Claude saying. Keep it going. Keep the pressure on. Winning all of our headers as well. Oh. Shot. Oh, good save. Keep it going. Good save. He's following him. He's following him. Oh. It, reset, reset, reset. Get past him. Come on now. Look. That's it. Stay with him. Get the ball. Cheeky. Oh, I couldn't put the finishing touches on it. These young kids are not playing half bad, are they? Should have, should have put these like out against Tottenham in the earlier game. Oh, look at that! Straight into the corner. Straight into the corner. Right. I think it's safe to say that we can actually make some changes at this stage. Let's put on Willock. And Gwen Doozy. And 
Let's wait for a little bit and I'll be on Smith Row in a little while. Near the end. What a bad day at the office, young Eddie. That's what literally look like Eddie though, is it? Some of these younger players, they ain't quite got them down. Foden looks a bit like Foden, but some of the others like Martinelli, Eddie, uh, Saka, Willock, some of them don't quite look right. Whereas they've got Guendouzi kind of bang on and he's quite young, isn't he? Well, 21. Interesting to see what's going to happen with Guendouzi. I mean, the boss says that there's, you know, we start again from two weeks, but they can get some, bring some money in for him towards the old party fund. There we go. We get past him. We can get crowded out. Try and win it back. Nice. Jay Willock. Oh, too easy. Saw it coming all the way. Put some on that, didn't he? Couldn't get it on target. Still playing on the old professional scene. The real test days is going to come when we play the better teams. Then we'll see. Got the ball. Oh, just make for the shot, then he got bundled off. Right, now to make the change. And what I'm going to do is just for the just for the end here. Smith Row on for Nelson to give him some minutes. We're home and dry, really, aren't we? Or as as a as a commentator say, home and hosed. And a Smith loves that one. Oh look at him, the home and hosed. I suppose that means home and that hosed, washed, clean, in the bath, all done, happy days, lovely jubbly. Oh, we're still on, we're still on him, still on. Uh, it's all us. I've just got them hemmed in. Shot. Oh. It's fair to say we've dominated this this one. Enthusing. Working his run. Oh, it's too much. Couldn't get on it though. Too much on the uh, pass through. Risky them just rolling the ball out, and they think they'd be hoofing it up the other end of the pitch. The official has indicated there will be a minimum of three minutes of added time. Three minutes. Uh, see, look, coming up for the half hour mark. I don't know, man. You know, it's half an hour, maybe it's just that, just about right. An episode. Do you want me to do another game? An hour? Let me know. But you know, the season's already starting. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Wasn't concentrating. <coughs> That's okay. Consolation. Got, got, got his eye to it, but it just wasn't enough. Consolation goal. Goal for Southampton. That's it. All over Rovo. Gets the uh, match ball for his hat-trick. 
Not bad. Not a bad result today. Not a bad result at all. You know what? I still think these season's kits, the ones that are available, the home away and the third kit, they're all better than next season's for me. All of them. I don't like really, I don't really like next season's kits. The red one is all right, but you know what I don't like about the red one? It's got that fly better added. And the way that they've added that, it just looks tacky. Right, press conference with Laura Woods. Let's see what old Claudio has got to say in this week's press conference. He should be happy though, right? We progress into the, we progress into the next round. Just a couple of questions for you. No problem, Trigal. Congratulations on your resounding victory today. Did you expect this win against Southampton? Did we expect this win? All credit to the lads. This is a sample of what we should be playing every game. We need to keep cool. All credit to the lads, right? Because it's our B team. So let's big up. Let's big up the let's big up the young guns. Everything worked perfect today. It shows the hard work we've been putting forward in training lately. All credit to the lads. A hat trick is something we really see nowadays. What is your take on Enketia's performance? Let's not go overboard. We've taken performance, a bit overboard. And Ket is a role model, he's not old enough to be a, a role model, he's only young. And Ketia was primed and ready. He was primed and ready. Indeed, based on his form and work in training leading up to this match, I'm not all surprised by Ketia's outing. Mr. Rester, did you get the drift? You ended up winning by three goals today, despite a slow start. Were you at all, to, at, were you at all nervous about not scoring in, in the first half? Focus on our next game. Full confidence in the lads. We prefer scoring early. Yeah, we do prefer scoring early. I was not nervous, but we always prefer to score as early as possible and asserting ourselves on the game. No further questions, Everybody's thank happy. you. No problem at all, darling. Right, in the office. He wants to chat to us, Joe Willock. What's Joe Willock have to say? Oh, look what he says. I'm glad we managed to win despite my mistakes out there, boss. Give me a chance and I'll do better next game. Well, you're not playing in the next game. Don't pressure yourself. Keep working hard to improve. <laughs> and then you could be you could be a right arsehole and say this won't cut it next time. Keep working hard to improve. Can't say I like what I saw, but you had to get your first minute somehow. Keep working hard and your game will improve. I mean, that's words of encouragement. Okay. And there we have it. Put ourselves back onto the first squad. Our next game is a big one. This is the test. This next one is going to be a test. The Premier League. And we are away at Old Trafford. Hang on a minute. What's happening here? Talks to Harrison Clark's move to Arca Gdynia have broken down. They always break down. The medical staff have cleared Alexander Lacazette to return, but he's not going to be fit to play, is he? Let's have a quick check on that. He's not going to be fit to play. See? He's still got the old plaster. Let's just move him up a little bit where I can see him. He's not fit to play, so I'm not going to risk him in the next match. So there you have it. We're starting to put a little run together, it would appear, after that shaky start at the beginning of the season. So we go on now in the League Cup, but this is going to be a big test in the next game. 
So let's give it a few days and I will be back with episode nine at Old Trafford and let's see how we get on against the big, one of the big, uh, one of the big boys on here. All right, everyone, stay safe and I will speak to you next time.